good morning back out for the last duck hunt of the year unfortunately duck season's coming to an end still got a few weeks of geese but we'll see what happens hopefully we can get a few mallards or something else maybe some geese hard to say got a spread of about two dozen goose decoys some sleeper shells and full bodies and then about two dozen ducks some pintails and mallards just hunting a little ice hole again hopefully we can get a few in lots of ducks flying over going out to feed snow let up about an hour ago i closed up my hole with a tumbleweed might need a few more to really black it out because i can't see in here as easily but at least i don't have this open but what i'm gonna have to do is probably let them land flip this tumbleweed off and then try to shoot them on the jump it's gonna be my best bet late season cloudy cover little wind not the best. Oh, all right. Well, after several hours, finally are on the board. Had two drakes dump in. I was calling a goose and a couple of jeets, and here they came. They're hopping around. They didn't know exactly where they wanted to land. We got a little tick of wind right now, and I could only get one. And it's kind of a pain shooting out of this. I got to shove a tumbleweed out but with little wind and overcast skies they can pick me out really easily they landed right over here in this opening which is kind of what i wanted right now we got a wind coming towards me but i wanted them to land a little further away from the blind to focus on the open area which they could land in the middle there too but it worked we, we got one there's been a ton fly over they're just all going out to feed right now. Look at him. Nice big old curls, speculum, bright old red legs, bright green head, late season green. Can't beat snow and green. That's just a wonderful combination. Here's my blind, just a bunch of sticks and tumbleweeds. And there's my shooting hole. I have that tumbleweed pulled over it to knock out the black hole that I'm sitting in. And it took me a little bit to kick that out of there and uh, get on the bird. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should just try shooting them on the water through it. I don't, we'll see. We'll see what happens the rest of the day, but... Ow. We got one. Well, we're making our work. I got my blind bag, because I'm sitting in about, I don't know, four or five inches of water. Got my blind bag and my camera bag hung up on some sticks, like so. The gun sitting in the blind bag and on another stick. Got the drake hanging from another stick, so. <laughs> oh, I should have had both of those, but they decoyed pretty. I was just calling a single goose. Oh, here's one right here. They've been responding to the goose call more than anything. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Man, he cooked in. And what I did is I was able to take my time. He was keyed in. That was awesome. Okay, that's how it's supposed to work. Another nice old drake. There he is. Man, he decoyed in. Purdy. He de Oh, look at those curls. Beautiful old drake. Nice 
Nice old stud. The wind shifted. Well, it's coming from here. Now it's kind of coming from here. I think it's supposed to go pretty much right on my back here at some point. But for now, we got her set for what it is. Decent little wind too. And uh, kind of open up the hole here. This was all ice. Just made it a little bigger so they can key in right there or land up there. Anywhere in this hole is going to be within range. a good little flurry of mallards. I probably could have had, oh, I don't know, maybe a couple more, but yeah, stone dead. Took him a second. <laughs> I missed him that first shot. Like I said, let's see. Yeah, no corn, but another beautiful old green head. Three on the day so far having a lot of success today actually using my goose call just to I think get their attention kind of get their eyes looking at my goose spread and then they see all the ducks and with the wind it's really helping them get in here myself I don't know how I missed <sighs> decoy and pick out a nice drake had a beautiful sprig miss 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 and he flew away maybe we'll get another crack I don't know got a little buddy in the blind with me He's been running around all the sticks since I sat up here in this morning. So I decided to name this guy Lenny. He's been around all day. He's just kind of chewing on the tumbleweeds. See, there he goes. Messing up my cover, dude. Old Lenny. But he's just been hanging around. He's running around on the ice and stuff. Runs across the sticks. So he's been keeping me company all day. I want to say it's a pack rat. I want to say he's a pack rat, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So Drake just came in and got him. All right. Stone dead. Another late season. Nice old Drake. Nice old green head. Put him on the strap. That's four old mallards. One more. Should be done if I took advantage of some of those opportunities. The more I think back on those four pintails, because they came around. 
there's some snow geese but they came around and they were closer I mean they were fairly close then they're 35 30 yards somewhere in there and then they hooked around and then they started coming up and I was like okay they're gonna come and I was waiting 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 to see them they finally popped up here and they're just 25 20 yards I I'm per, I think I got duck fever like buck fever when you see a big buck and you just start shaking I saw that sprig and I just I got too excited and I cost myself that opportunity oh that is gonna do it for today for the hunt and unfortunately for the season gotta wait another long eight months before we can get back out after the ducks but it was a great season fun time and to end it with some nice mallards honestly should have had a limit i missed my pintail i missed the opportunity on that nice drake i am going to kick myself about that my hide my hide was the limiting factor i would say i don't want to make too many excuses but the hide definitely limited my shooting today but you know we still we still got four mallards we ended the season on a high note and that's all you can really say but that's all i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it be sure to go out there and support those conservation organizations ducks in the mid delta waterfowl and we'll catch you out there see ya